You're right there, you lovely lot there. Mark here, six plus, going over a project I've got in the pipeline here, and that's redoing this Leviathan box set and something a little bit special here. So a little bit of a backstory of what's going on. I like my Dark Angels. However, I stripped a lot of Dark Angels a long time ago and I hadn't touched them since because I wasn't 100% happy with what I'd done with them. And I got this Leviathan box set, sold off the nids, bye bye nids, and I kept the Space Marine bits. And I was looking around on the interwebs for inspiration for conversions and so on and so forth. And I came across Grey Tide Studios. And I was using them for my Black Templars, which I still am. And I've noticed they do Dark Angel bits. And we ended up having a good old chimwag. And now I'm going to redo my Dark Angels in very Baroque, fabulous armour using Grey Tide Studios. But starting with the Leviathan set here as a going on project. So the idea is... Each instalment will be me converting and kit bashing up a new unit from this Leviathan set here. So there's plenty in here to go over, plenty of upgrades and stuff like that. So we'll transition in a moment to the actual computer screen where I can show you a lot of the ideas I got for this and what we're going to be doing in the future and maybe a sneak peek of something I've been working on. Catch you in a second. All right, you lovely, lovely lot. So this is over to the screen. Okay, I've got the device and set beside me. And I am very much a thematic collector of miniatures. Not just Warhammer, but all the different ones. I love having a theme. And I love the Dark Angel theme. I love the Knightly Order. I love the, you know, the monk robes and the iconography. And it all being very, very... It doesn't look like a normal space marine. Alright? And I just... The thing that got me into Dark Angels was this artwork. Back in the day. That drew me in. That robed aesthetic. And I just love the idea of robed warrior monks walking forward to purge the enemies of the Imperium and humanity. And I felt a little bit disheartened somewhat with the Primaris upgrades. They, they were great. They do their job. But they don't make the Space Marine look the, the, dark, the Space Marine look very different from any other Space Marine, per se, dare I say it. Um, they're, they're easy to use, slap on the shoulder pads, little trinkets, you, you know, you're all good. But I'm just drawn into this very thematic look to them. I just, I love that. And I want my Dark Angels to look the way I want them to look. It sounds kind of weird, but stay with me here. So I got the Leviathan set, and I'm like, I've got to do something with them. I've been sat on it for donkeys, and I need to do something with it. And I was looking through Great Tide Studios, because as I said in the past, I've used their bits for my Black Templars, and I love the aesthetic of them. And I was like, wait a minute, they do really nice Dark Angel stuff, they do. And... Ended up reaching out to him, having a nice chin wag about the project of Leviathan and going forward. And they really, really just scream to me that Dark Angel idea. I want them to be very ornate. These are not going to be Warhammer World um, uh, light, shall we say. I won't be able to really go into Warhammer World. And go, yeah, let's play these because they are going to be so over the top. Um, I will put a link in the description down below to Great Hide Studios. They're an amazing bunch of people. Amazing bunch of people. And they've been coming on to the stream when I've been working on my Black Templars and working on Dark Angel uh, bits and pieces, just testing out the theory. Great, lovely bunch of people. Love the candles. And it's just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And. So yes, the idea is 
I'm going to be redoing the Leviathan box set using these bits to really go to town on it and really make it my own. Now, the only thing I've got a slight, I need your input. You watching right now, I need your input. Because an idea I've got is not to just paint these up as the Dark Angels. Your, your Green Wing, your Raven Wing, and your Death Wing. The Lions came back. So he's calling all his sons of the first back in. You know, he, he you know, it's the whole like Gilliman, you know, the Primark syndrome. It draws in all his uh, progeny, all his sons in. And there's so many successor chapters out there that part of me wants to do um, like this project will be painting up x amount of units so a couple units and a hero from each of these successor chapters to really make it what was it the last wall protocol for the uh imperial fist the sons of dawn why couldn't there be an unforgiven thing i believe there's 14 now confirmed successor chapters for the dark angels so i would love people's input to let me know what they think of it um, should I do 500 points? Should I do a couple units and maybe a couple heroes to go with those units? So I may do heavy intercessors and eradicators with a biologist and a captain in Gravis armor from one chapter, but then I do um, assault intercessors and jump back intercessors and things like that from another chapter and so on and so forth. So then it's a proper nice colorful mix but the thing that draws them all in is the lineage of the lion so i really love um people's input i got a bit of a desire to do um guardians of the covenant i believe it is yeah guardians of the covenant so these are the six successor chapters i want to start off with if i go this way and the guardians of the covenant silver red robes black detail very different from stereotypical dark angels but i'm still going to do a dark angel one as well so azrael uh belial and um ezekiel and stuff like that will be done in their stereotypical colors and they will have their retinue so belial will have uh deathwing knights xyz uh, uh, azrael will have a stern guard for example um so as an idea i'm now waffling thank you so very very much for watching through to the end i am now going to put a little sneaky bit at the end of the video of maybe some stuff i've been working on and i'll you know get your creative juices your input going and yeah i really really do hope this series um goes well i'm really excited about this but anyway i'm waffling thank you so very very much for watching through to the end it means the absolute world to me any and all input down below links in the description and yeah thank you so very very much take care of yourself welcome to my party we're just getting started a life is a dream or a nightmare scarring hand me a drink because i think i'm going all in get me a shrink who can catch me when i'm falling cover up my scar in my car, wake up in a bar, I'll be a superstar, just on my avatar, this world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir, yeah, I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face.